Why does God allow suffering? This is a personal subject for me, so I wanted to share some written thoughts. Life as I knew it stopped in 2014 while I was walking on a golf course. Out of nowhere, my pelvis broke. I went to specialists across the country and no one could tell me why. A few weeks later, it had another break. It was determined I had a rare, aggressive, and destructive bone tumor called osteoblastoma. This tumor destroyed the lower right portion of my pelvis until it was removed with good margins. Unable to walk or care for myself, my mother was in the final stages of her battle with breast cancer. My life went from a career-driven, physically active wife, mom, and grandparent to a focus on physical and functional rehab and how to minimize the excruciating pain from bone and muscle loss. In the midst of this, my mother died. A few months later, my dad was diagnosed with lung cancer. 11 days later, he died. During the midst of all of this, God directed us to move to Carrollton, Georgia. This move compounded my loss. I lost my career and ability to work. I lost my active, pain-free, medicine-free, healthy body. I lost both my parents, and I lost my daily interaction with my daughter and granddaughters as we left them behind in Delaware. I struggled to wonder why I was even on earth or why I get God didn't just end my life. This was not what I wanted. I wanted a healthy body that functions. I wanted to be without physical and emotional pain. I wanted my parents back. I wanted my boat and beach house. I wanted to see my granddaughters every day. But God had a different plan. God had to bring me to complete surrender of all that I wanted and obedience to what he was asking me to do. It didn't come without a fight to truly know that God is sovereign and his will is perfect for me. We attended Southern Hills the first Sunday after arriving in Georgia in 2015. Due to having trouble sitting, I would prepare for service days ahead of time. We would get home quickly and it took days of lying on my back to get over all it took physically to attend. We pressed on though, every service was worth it. God used Southern Hills to point me toward a path for purpose, community, knowledge, and obedience. After a year or so of attendance, we went through the membership and community classes. This decision was one of the largest turning points in my life, aside from my salvation. From those classes, our life group was born. No doubt, each and every one of them were handpicked by God. It so happened all of them were also new to Carrollton, and none of these ladies were working outside the home. The ladies began to meet for coffee each week, This built momentum for me physically, spiritually, and emotionally. I shifted from everyday survival to desperately seeking God's purpose. God used our weekly coffee meeting for continually getting stronger. I'm in continual physical therapy and do all I can to make my body as strong and healthy as I can. I will always have pain, but God helps me manage it. God brought me to a place of surrender and obedience in order to bless me more than I could ever imagine. God has repurposed me. He has put in me a burning desire to nourish others the way I have been nourished, with love and truth. Now instead of my health, my husband, my family, my work, my status, I find my worth in Jesus.